Hey guys, what's up? This is Devony. I wanted to come on here and do a video on the top five fragrances that I'm wearing this fall. Um, I think some of the fragrances that I'm wearing are um, not necessarily fragrances that a lot of people are wearing. So I just wanted to come on and do a video about them. Like I told you in another video, I've been trying to find a new fragrance because my favorite fragrance of all times had been discontinued. And so I started buying all these fragrances and now I have a bunch of fragrances. Um, so I got a whole bunch of options where before I only used to have that one fragrance and I always bought it I was between 95, 96. And now I probably bought 20 bottles or 30 bottles of that fragrance because that's the only fragrance I used to wear. But yeah, so I'm also just going to run through real quick of some new end stuff. So and it's not even going to be that much because upstairs, I really don't have a lot of the new in stuff that I have. Um, I really can only see two new in. So these flip-flops I bought, um, these are new in. Of course, I've already worn them. I've worn them a couple times. And they're from Chanel. And yeah, they're super comfortable. They have like a cloth kind of I, I probably need to use a length brush and take off some of the lint but they have a cloth inside and then they just have the traditional chanel chain and the cc on the front and they're made out of rubber on the bottom which i really like because i think the most designer shoes that i have are chanel and they usually have like a wooden bottom so I, 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 at least but the good thing with those is that you can take them to the cobbler and then they can put redo the the bottom with these you know they're plastic so probably once you wear these down then it's pretty much a wrap but yeah they are really nice they're really comfortable i don't know what they're made out of but when you walk they even have some give like it's almost like they have some stretch in them or something i don't know but i could do a review on these if y'all want me to i haven't seen them on youtube or i haven't seen anybody with them so yeah and then I also bought a fragrance. Um, and these was just some of the things that I got for my birthday. Because my birthday was October 30th. And I bought me a bunch of stuff. But like I said, everything is downstairs. Um, I bought this Maison Francis Kirk Jean uh, perfume called Amorous. Yeah. And I had smelled this a couple years ago. And then I never bought it. And then I went and I bought it. Sort of like a blind buy. And it's okay. I mean... Would I buy it again? Probably not. It's 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 okay though. I mean, I, I like it. It's pretty basic. I mean, if my daughter wants it, she can have it. I mean, I'm sure she's gonna want some of this stuff anyway. But anyway, let me get into the five fragrances that I'm actually wearing for the fall. Um Okay, I only picked up three right now, but one of my most favorite perfumes of all times that I was so happy that I found. A lot of people would only wear it at night, but I, I spray this on before I go to sleep. I spray this on when I'm going out at night. I spray this on when I'm going out during the day. I'll spray this on anytime I want to spray it on because I love the way it smells. It's like a chocolatey, dark oh it just it smells so good and it's definitely a gourmand and it's called elixir carnel from guerlain and it is um gourmand coquine so that is the name on the side of the bottle gourmand coquine this is how the bottle looks i absolutely and you could you see how much of the bottle is gone already i i, I love this perfume i love the way it smells it it smells so good. Like, it doesn't last long. I didn't think it lasted long, but actually, I had sprayed some on my robe. And then, like, the second night when I wore my robe, my son was sniffing me. And he kept saying, I smell so good. I smell so good. And I was like, what are you, what are you talking about? And this is what I had sprayed on my robe, like, the night before. So, maybe it, it lasts long, but you don't smell it on yourself anymore. And I kind of like to smell myself, but... I love I love this like and I feel like you can never put too much of this on like 
I don't know. This just smells so, so good. And the presentation, the way it comes. Let me show you. It comes in a box in a in a package like this. And then when you open it up, actually, this is not the box for this one. This is the box for the Le Bleu. Le, Le Bleu, Bleu Je de Ma Vive. That, that this is the bo box but it comes in a box that looks just like this like a leather box um and i have it right here this box this is the box that this one came in and the presentation of this is just is so good it, i mean and it smells just so good if you can get this i don't know how much this was i mean maybe it might have been 250 290 300 i don't know i don't remember how much it was but i love this perfume love it all right the next perfume is iris the Gra grassy i don't really know how to pronounce that but and this is from i want to say this is also a girl a girl on i'm almost positive this is from uh no this is lancome yeah, this is Lancome. But um, yeah, this is this smells so good. And I love Irish fragrances. It has the magnetic magnetic top. Do you see? Um, yeah, and this is just a straight up traditional iris perfume. I mean, but it's really, really good. It's it's more complex than a regular iris, but it's super good and it, it just smells good. This is another one you could put it on nighttime, daytime. It's really pow it's powdery. If you like a powdery scent, you're really gonna like this. Um, and I'll wear this anytime, daytime, nighttime, going to pick up the kids, going to drop a do to do anything, whatever, and to sleep. Uh, this is a good to sleep perfume. Also, I would definitely wear this to sleep. Okay, another perfume that I wear, but. I'm not even crazy about this perfume, but this perfume right here, for some reason, men love this perfume. Like, if you have this perfume on, they're gonna be like, "What do you have on? Like, you smell so good." And I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand. I wear it, um, and it smells okay, but pretty much, it also, it almost, it reminds me because it has like an almond type something in it i think i'm not good with notes i i really don't know but i i think that that's what i'm smelling or that's what it smells like i mean and it has a pleasant smell but i don't know what it is that knocks that makes men want to just like i don't know but they love this perfume so yeah this is elisab le Perf perfume le perfume and yeah, it's good. I wear it. I mean, I probably wear it the least of the five perfumes that I'm going to show. But yeah, I, I definitely wear this one. Um, and I'm going to be wearing it for the fall. Okay. Um, this one. Number 19. I love number 19. This is a powdery green woodsy it has some re something reminiscent of number five in it but not number five because i don't wear number five my mom wears number five like that is her perfume my whole life she's always been a perfume person like she loves perfume but she like number five is her she'll have like the little tiny 300 hundred dollar bottle of sh the little tube with just the extract essence and all this stuff like you know number five is her scent but i number 19 is a scent that i love and this is the poudre number 19 which i think i'm gonna buy all the number 19s and then i'll compare them i'll do a comparison video but yeah um number four on my list but not number four that i wear this is probably this is probably the number two that I wear because I like to wear the gourmand coquine a lot. Um, but this is number two for sure. For, for absolute sure. And then the last but not least. Oh, 
oh gosh, do I have to make a decision? If I'm if I'm going out like at nighttime and I just maybe don't know and it's kind of like a toss up, I'm either gonna put this on or I'm just gonna honorable mention this. And this is from Guerlain. This is Le Pleu, Bleu Je de Ma Vie. Something like that is how you pronounce this. And this smells like a, a almond. I might not have it open. I guess the other way. Somebody must have been playing with this because I usually leave it open just so. Yeah, it's like a real almondy, burnt almond type powder. Sweet, but not really sweet. I'm not really a sweet fragrance person. I'm, I'm definitely not a sweet fragrance person. But but good. But real, really, really good. You know what? I'm, I'm going to make that my top five. I'm going to say this is number five if they're ranked. The Girl on La Plebe Je De Ma Vie. This is what it looks like. But it's always sold out. Like, it's super hard to find and get. And I want to say, this might have been like 320 or 390 or 350 something, something like that. And then, so th this is number five. The Ely Saab is going to be number four. The iris is going to be number three. Um, number 19, Poudre, is going to be number two. And, of course, my number one is going to be the Gourmand Cocaine. So, yeah, um, that is my video. Um, my next video maybe could be my maybe Chanel collection with my bags and shoes. I have a lot of Chanel shoes, a lot more than I realized. But um, yeah. So I'll holler at you later. I also have to give you all an update on my. Well, actually, it seems like nobody is interested in the investing stuff on this channel. So I'm just gonna put all the investing stuff on my real estate channel. And call it a day because i think after i had the investment video up for like a whole month three people had watched it on this channel so i'm just gonna keep this channel to perfume and hauls and that kind of stuff anyway i'll holler at you all later peace